guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a spring try on haul slash spring outfit slash spring trends of 2017. So there's a bunch of clothing, shoes, and jewelry, so let's just get right into the video so it's not too long. First off, I do want to say I'm finally filming in my office slash filming room. I put a blanket on the floor so it hopefully absorbs some of the noise and echoey, but it still might not be perfect. There's still a lot to do, I have to figure out my backdrop. So leave an idea down below for me to figure out. I kind of want to give it a little bit more of a 3D effect, but it will do for now. I'm just happy to finally be in a space where everything is set up at all times. So the way I'm going to go through this is by outfit, not necessarily by store. So this first outfit I think is just really pretty and feminine, and you guys know my style is a little bit more on the feminine side. This top is from Windsor Store. What I love most about this crop top is the raw lace finish around the neck and at the bottom of the shirt. I think it really finishes it off nicely. If you have anything high-waisted, or if you just have like the best abs ever, then you can show them off, but I don't, so I don't really love showing off my belly button. I think it looks a little bit classier when your belly button is covered, and it's just a little bit of your midriff showing. That's just personal preference. So the way I styled this shirt was with a high-waisted denim skirt that has buttons going all the way up. It's super old. You can find probably new versions of it at H&M or Zara or even Old Navy. Anywhere will have a high-waisted denim skirt. It's super popular and on trend. And for the shoes, you can put this with sandals or little booties, but I thought it looked really cute with this over-the-knee boot. These are from Public Desire. I love these boots. They are amazing if you have a little bit of a curvier leg. They will fit you. It's a suede material. They are sleek. They kind of look like the Stuart Weitzman ones, but they are a lot cheaper, and they do stay up, which is great because they have a jostering right above the knee, which really holds them up. So I think they're like 30 pounds or something. I highly suggest them if you have a curvier leg, like if your calves are a little bit curvier. I wanna get them in gray as well just because they fit and whenever something really fits and they look good, I just get them in every color. This next outfit is a lot more sophisticated and put together. I really love to layer my outfit whenever it's a little bit cold out, but I don't wanna wear a big puffy jacket, but I wanna be warm as well. So this striped shirt is from H&M. I got it before I went to Canada, but I feel like this is such a staple item that you could just get it anywhere still. What I love about this top is the bottom section of the sleeve. It's not necessarily like a closed off button. There's still some room for movement. I hate when you have like such a tight um, clasp around the wrist and it just feels like constricted. This just gives some nice movement and also gives a nice touch to layering. So I paired it with a white ASOS sweater that I got a while ago and I just roll up the sleeves a little bit so that you can see the detail of this striped shirt kind of coming through. I wore this outfit when I was in Edinburgh. I felt really put together with this outfit and it was very warm and I didn't feel cold at all considering it was only like eight or nine out. And yeah, it's just a great piece. It's a little bit longer. I always go a size up. Um, with layering shirts underneath just so that the length is there so that whatever sweater or shirt I put on top doesn't fully consume it. So make sure you always get something a little bit longer so that it peeks through. Now the pants in this outfit really make this a little bit more of a classy outfit. I picked these up at Laura Ashley on sale. I think they were down from 65 to 20 pounds, which is amazing. And I love these dress pants. They just are a normal zip up with a little button. But what's so nice about them is that there's an extra little piece of fabric that kind of overlaps the um, zipper and the button so that you don't see that. And then it ties to another piece of fabric right here. So it just really makes it look sophisticated. And I don't know, it just fits really nice. It's not low rise, it's not high rise. It's just like right at the hips. It sits really comfortably. You can dress this up or down. I love that it's a cigarette leg. I don't really suit those really wide legged pants especially if they're a little bit cropped. I have bigger thighs and butt, so it just doesn't really suit me and my body shape, but whenever they're a little bit more um, tapered at the end, but not necessarily like full on skinny, just a little bit more tapered, I think that just suits my body shape and really complements it. So these are really great. I think you could get quite creative with this, and I think it would be awesome for spring, summer with like a lace camisole or a little like leather jacket with it. You can really dress this up, but then again, with this outfit that I'm showing you guys, it's a little bit more more casual you could throw some runners on with it or just some black booties but yeah I really love this outfit moving on to my favorite outfit in this whole video this dress I picked up again on sale at Laura Ashley and 
I just think it's so pretty. It might not be everyone's style, but I just think it's so feminine with a little bit of a western twist slash vintage twist. I don't know. I'm super into it. I think there's so much detail going on with this dress, but the silhouette is just classic. It's just, it really suits my body shape. I love that it's tapered in around the waist. It has a waist strap, so it really tucks you in. There's layers on the skirt, and it's a midi skirt, which I think is super on trend. I personally don't really suit really short skirts just because I don't have very long legs. I think that this style, like a midi dress with heels, looks really striking on shorter legs because it gives the illusion of a longer torso and longer legs. That's just my opinion but you could really dress it up with some nice black or nude stilettos for like a spring or summer wedding but I made it a little bit more western with these public desire um, sock booties which are really trendy at the moment I love these I want to get them in another color as well because if you have shorter legs like myself this is a great way to elongate your leg I think these look really great with the dress just because it looks like it's continuous underneath and it's very sleek on the foot whenever I wear crop jeans with just like flat shoes my legs look really stubby and short but whenever I pair cropped pants with these types of boots I think my legs look long and slim not slim but you know what I mean they just look longer than usual and a little bit more slim and I just think these are very sleek and sexy. Also with this dress, I paired some jewelry with it. This jewelry was sent to me from Astrid and Mew. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I am obsessed with it. It is so beautiful. This ring is a yellow gold wraparound ring. I think it's stunning and it is adjustable so you can wear it as a midi ring or just any finger, just adjust it to the size. I also picked up this rose gold hexagon necklace. It, it like the details in this is just so beautiful it has like a little drop chain with some more little diamond detailing on the bar down below there's little diamond detailing around the hexagon as well very simple but striking and it can really just be paired with a lot of different looks but my favorite pieces from this brand are the earrings and the ear cuffs I am so into ear cuffs lately these ones are stunning there's a rose gold and silver I really wanted to like blend them together I didn't know kind of how to style it so I just looked at the model on the website and just picked out whatever she was wearing and I thought it just looked so beautiful I think it's really striking again with that kind of warm neutral tone in the rose gold paired with the cooler tone in the silver I love how the ear cuffs look it gives definitely a more edgy look to the outfit also this bar earring with a little chain drop detail is so beautiful the other side is just a normal silver bar but I mixed it up and paired it with this rose gold diamond detail bar earring beautiful it looks like you have like 10 piercings but you only have one it's just stunning all of these pieces are just created beautifully and they're such good quality like they really are just so beautifully made really into these ear cuffs I think they're really trendy at the moment I think they just really amp up the look I paired it with this dress just because it's such a feminine dress just to give a more edgy you know feel to it but I am wearing it with what I'm wearing right now which is the pink cardigan with a white tank top and it just kind of goes with it there's just something simple about these pieces but it just it pops it's still a statement piece with being simple I don't know how to explain it but anytime I wear these I always get a compliment and where it's from so Ashton and Miu check them out they're incredible I'm gonna quickly mention the outfit that I'm wearing right now I'm just wearing a plain white tank top and I got this cardigan slash it has a little drawstring around the waist I got it at Asda for like eight pounds which is like a Walmart kind of thing over here in Northern Ireland I think this is so cute baby pink or that dusty pink or just pink and in general is definitely the color for spring summer I think this year it is definitely coming around and it's a great way to add a little bit of fun to your outfit I just think this is so beautiful and it would also be really great as like a little cover-up if you're going to the beach I don't know if I'll ever get to the beach this summer because it never gets that warm here but it's just really pretty to put over a tank top if it's not that hot out but you still want to wear something breathable I just paired it with these Windsor store denim jeans which are really comfortable they have great stretch in them they are a little bit more cropped, but what I like about them is that they have that frayed bottom, which is really trendy at the moment. I paired it with my Converse, but if I wanted my legs to look a little bit longer, like I said before, I would pair them with these sock booties just to give a little bit more length and um, you know, slimness to my leg. But this is a very casual spring outfit. Really love this, it was at Asda, so hopefully it's still there. But yeah, it's just a nice, easy spring outfit. Moving on, before I head to the last outfit, I wanted to show you these shoes I picked up from Public Desire. Come on, like how fun are these? 
To be fair, I didn't know how to style them, um, at least with the new stuff that I got. I could probably figure out something in my wardrobe, but I wanted to know what you guys think down below in the comments, how you would style these like bright pink mule shoes. They're really comfortable, and I really wanna try and get some wear out of them because they're definitely a statement piece. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below how you would kind of style these mules. I think they're so fun, and they definitely give a focal point to your look. Okay, moving on to the last outfit, which I think is the epitome of spring trendy style at the moment. It is this off the shoulder, really poofy blouse from Windsor Store, paired with these really, really trendy jeans from H&M, and then of course my gray suede cutout heels from Public Desire, which are the comfiest things ever. I wore these recently to an event in Dublin, and I had to walk around to a couple of different places, and my feet were so comfortable in these. I highly recommend them if you have flatter feet like myself, and sometimes heels just gives my foot a little bit of a bother. These were so comfortable. I wear them all the time. I style them with jeans, with dresses, with skirts, whatever it is. I love them. They're super cute. I love that gray suede kind of um, fabric on it. Now, the shirt that I paired it with is just so beautiful. I've worn it in a couple of videos so far in some of my Instagrams, and you guys love it. I think it's called the Puffin Shirt um, from Windsor Store. I will link it down below. Don't wear a lot of bronzer in your chest with it because it will get on the shirt. I need to wash that, but it's just an off the shoulder one. I love the ruffle just to kind of give the illusion that you're like wrapped in a duvet or something. It is quite puffy, so that's why I like to tuck it into my jeans just so that it brings it together so your body's not lost in it because it is quite puffy. I think you could really enhance this top with like high-waisted, really tight jeans. I think it would look really nice. Also, these jeans, I am so obsessed with. I picked them up in Edinburgh when Patty and I went the other weekend, and they're a little bit different, I will admit, but they're so comfortable and they really do wear to your body really nicely. I picked them up in a UK size eight, and they're a little bit fitted when you first get them, but they definitely do morph to your body, which is nice. I love the way that these jeans are cut because they are a little bit um, shorter, but they're like, asymmetrical so they're shorter in the front but they go longer in the back and because the side of them has a darker colored denim it gives the illusion of a sleeker line with your legs because I have a curvier leg this just really complements it and gives the illusion of a straighter slimmer looking leg just the way it's done even though there's so much going on with these jeans I just think they're really really nice and I think they suit my body type really nicely these jeans are so versatile I think they're still in stock because they were brand new when I got them like like two weeks ago so go out and get them if you have a similar shape to me because I am a fan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some outfit ideas for spring slash summer. I wish it got a little bit warmer here but that's okay. But yeah I hope everyone has a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!